Promises, promises, promises. Bob Arum says the week after Terence Crawford gets past Amir Khan, if he does, he's going to be straight on the phone to Al Heyman looking to make the Errol Spence fight. He says that he's got no issue with doing a co-network deal where Fox or Showtime would put it on pay-per-view along with ESPN also putting it on pay-per-view. And obviously we know that Al Heyman is a big rival of Bob Arum, but he is claiming that he's willing to put all that aside and just do the business as he did with Don King back in the days. Him and Don King were big rivals. They still made big fights together. So we'll see what happens with it. I want to believe that Bob Arum is serious. I know that Terence Crawford is serious. I know Crawford would love the Errol Spence fight. But the things that boxing promoters say and what they actually do are very often two different things. And I'm not saying that it would necessarily be Bob Arum preventing this fight from happening. Perhaps it will be Al Heyman preventing this fight from happening. Maybe Al Heyman has got different plans for Errol Spence than just putting him straight in there with a Terence Crawford. Perhaps he would like Errol Spence to have fights against the likes of Amani Pacquiao, uh, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, etc. before putting him in against Terence Crawford, who is promoted by uh, Al Heyman's major rival in the United States, one of his major rivals. So, We'll have to wait and see what happens here. Obviously, I would love Terence Crawford to fight Errol Spence. That, to me, is one of the best fights that can be possibly made in boxing. That's an incredible fight. I would be extremely excited for that matchup. But at the moment, it's all talk. And I have to be honest, you guys know that I'm a glasses half full boxing fan. I tend to look on the bright side. If I was one of these kind of fans who was moaning about everything and all doom and gloom about boxing, I wouldn't watch it. I'm a glasses half full kind of uh, boxing fan. And uh, as much as I'm positive like that, I don't really have much hope for Spence Crawford happening anytime in the near future because of the things I've just alluded to. Uh, Al Heyman possibly wanting... Errol Spence to take on all the other PBC welterweights first, certainly the likes of a Pacquiao, Furman, etc., you know, the big names, and then maybe have this cross-network, cross-promotional fight against Terence Crawford, where you're really risking a lot, right? Because they're trying to do a lot with uh, Errol Spence. They've just had him fight Mikey Garcia in a stadium in Texas. They had the owner of the Cowboys come out and support the fight and all this kind of business. So they're really pushing hard for Errol Spence to become a pay-per-view star in the United States. They're still in the process of building him and to be putting him in an extremely dangerous fight at this stage against a fighter who is under the, uh, you know, under the, uh, a contract with, one of Heyman's main rivals and someone who is is going to be very dangerous, as I say, for Errol Spence. I'm not sure that Bo- that Al Heyman will be willing to do that right now. As far as Bob Arum uh, with Terence Crawford, he might be more willing to put Crawford in there with Spence than Heyman is willing to put Spence in there with Crawford because who is Bob Arum going to put Terence Crawford in there with most of the PBC sorry most of the world level welterweights are on PBC to with Al Heyman so in a sense Bob Arum is almost forced to take more risks with Terence Crawford because there's not really anywhere else to go with him so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below are any of you more optimistic than me that this fight could be made in the near future Uh, bottom line is I suspect that Al Heyman 
won't allow this fight to take place right now. And I don't want to single out Heyman and say, oh, you see, he's bad for boxing because he does this kind of stuff. All promoters do this kind of stuff. And I know I always get this from people. Oh, Heyman's not a promoter. Yeah, he's not officially a promoter, but he had to find some way to circumvent the Muhammad Ali Act, right? <laughs> you know, so he's officially an advisor and manager, uh, but for all intents and purposes, many people consider him to be a promoter in everything but name. Uh, so all promoters or, you know, advisors, quote unquote, do this kind of thing from time to time. They keep their guy away from certain fighters because they want to let fights build. They want to let the fighter be built up and become more of a cash cow before they start risking him, before they start, you know, putting him in fights where they're really trying to reap. Well, they're going to reap the rewards before then, but before they put him in a, 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 a mega fight where that cash cow could all come crashing down, you know? I mean, it's like Bob Arum right now with Tyson Fury. He's putting him in there with Schwartz, not Wilder. And whoever is after Schwartz, if he fights again in 2019, it's probably not going to be Wilder or Joshua according to what Bob Arum's saying, you know, so he wants to build Tyson Fury up a lot before he's going to put him in there against the Wilder or Joshua. So all promoters do this, you know. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week, covering a wide variety of controversial topics, as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.